Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, I am currently hiding out in South Texas right now, uh, doing a little bit of hunting and fishing, kind of enjoying my momentary break between tournaments. Um, so this is gonna be kind of a different style of video. This is, a, this is a fairly controversial topic and something that's very prevalent in the fishing industry today. Um, I'm faced with it daily. A lot of anglers are faced with it daily. And it's something that um, I've kind of been ignoring for quite a while. And uh, because of the, the, the massive amount of messages that I receive from other females in the sport, um, I kind of feel obligated to address it and just talk about it and maybe shed some light on some things and help kind of change this perspective just a little bit. So without further ado, let's dive in. We see this happening all the time. Um, a lot of guys getting extremely frustrated at the, the lack of opportunities that they feel they have um, because these opportunities are being given to up and coming uh, female anglers in the sport. Uh, like I said, for those of you that know me, I have fought this battle for so long. I never wanted to be labeled as a female angler. Um, I've always just wanted to be taken as an angler. I am an angler. I'm out there just like anybody else trying to catch fish and cast checks um, and doing what I love. Uh, female or male, you know, fish don't care. We've heard that a thousand times. But this dynamic is, is present in our sport. And there's been a lot of people that are very frustrated. I've received comments from, from guys frustrated with how things are. And let me tell you, I get it. I know you're frustrated because you've had a successful TV show and you've, you've had this lucrative sponsorship for a long time and it just got pulled from you and it was given to a female angler who just started fishing yesterday. Um, I get that. I know that's frustrating. Um, or you're a professional angler. You just had one of your sponsorships cut and it was given to a female angler that looks really, really, really good in the bikini. I get that too. I know that's frustrating for you. Um, I wish you could only imagine how frustrating that is for me because that is the type of thing that makes it very difficult for anglers like myself to be taken seriously, um, to be given respect, and most importantly, the main topic of this video, to be given the benefit of the doubt. So let's talk about that. For me personally, it's been something I fought my whole entire career. Um, from working in a male-dominated industry, up in the hunting department of Shields, um, to fishing tournaments, to always being that girl in, in the guy's world. Uh, I've been used to it, so uh, I've, uh, I've been able to kind of navigate it, and I've got thick skin so I can handle it. But there are a lot of women out there, especially young women at high school, competing on the, the high school or collegiate level, that you know, maybe don't have that type of experience or that, that, uh, that barrier, so to speak. So that's why I want to talk about it. Um, so we can learn how to, to give the benefit of the doubt. Case in point, it's happened to me several times. Um, this year working the Bassmaster Classic or ICAST, uh, I had several people walk up uh, as I was working my respected booths and wanting to talk about new technologies we implemented with the new blank and all of this. And most people will just walk right by me initially. Even anglers that were sponsored by the same company, um, guys that had been in the game a long time, I know didn't give me the benefit of the doubt. Uh, until later on this year after tournament success and after seeing videos and footage that I'd posted. Um, I know they didn't. I could feel that. And that's always a tough thing. Um, it's something that, you know, it's always pushes and motivates me to continue to try to, you know, change the stereotype that we have out there. But what this video is intended to do, more importantly, um, this isn't really for me. This is for, I guess, for women as a whole in this industry because the amount of messages that I receive from young women in high school or even younger that just started fishing or that have been fishing their whole lives and are trying to break into this thing, their passion is genuine um, and they're already feeling that pressure and that discrimination at, at their age is really disheartening for me and it doesn't bode well for the future of our sport. So, like I said, I get it. There's an overwhelmingly large amount of of people and of anglers that um, make you feel the way that you do and make it very hard for the, the few like myself that are trying to, to kind of fight this battle a different way. Um, but that being said, for every 100 women that, you know, book guide charters and pose with other people's fish and put on this, this facade that they're something they're not, 
there's a young girl in high school whose grandpa took her fishing at age three and has been fishing on the, the high school level of her entire year, winning tournaments, planning to fish in college, making her dream a reality. Give her the benefit of the doubt. For every 100 female anglers that intentionally use sex to sell and pad their bank accounts, there's a female angler up in Washington who ties some of the best flies in the country and knows the in and outs of her sport and her waters and has guided and has fought so hard to be taken seriously. Give her the benefit of the doubt. For every 100 female anglers that will sit there and swap three to four different outfits with different sponsor logos and pose with the exact same fish just to grow their following, there's a female angler out there who is working her tail off trying to qualify for the Bass Master Elites. Give her the benefit of the doubt. For every 100 female anglers out there who have rod sponsorships and are photographed holding a spinning rod upside down, there's one female angler out in California who has been building her blanks for years and has been a master of her craft who's also trying to be taken seriously. Give her the benefit of the doubt. For every 100 female anglers out there that are exploiting themselves in the outdoors for personal and self gain, there's a young lady angler out there who just bought her first fishing rod and has a true appreciation and love for this sport and the outdoors and wants to continue building upon that. Give her the benefit of the doubt. I mean, guys, we've all, we've all seen it. Um, it it's, it's there and it's not going away. Um, it's something that all of us have to deal with on a daily basis, both on both sides of the spectrum. And the only thing that I ask is just for everybody out there to give everybody they encounter on the water, in a tackle shop, um, at a show, give them the initial benefit of the doubt. Because you never know. You don't know their background. You don't know their story. You don't know their heart. You don't know their passion. You don't know their talents or abilities. Don't judge a book by the cover. Like I said, this whole thing was kind of off the cuff. It was something that because of the overwhelming amount of messages I've been receiving about this topic, I wanted to just take a few minutes and just talk about it, put it out there, and maybe get your all's feedback on it. Again, this is not trying to berate um, any, any lady anglers and how they choose to market themselves. This is America. It's a free country. You can do whatever you want. Um, I know everyone's trying to make a, make a living at this thing and however you choose to do that, to each their own and more power to you. Um, this was intended for the women out there who have struggled and kind of faced a little discrimination or have had you know, the mountains to climb to try to prove themselves in this industry and, and more importantly, who are trying so hard to be taken seriously. So this is for them. And I promise you, there are, there are some very talented, legitimate lady anglers out there. Um, a lot of times you just don't hear of them. And my goal is to spend a little time next year and try to uh, connect with each one of them across the country and maybe do a little, little filming at their home waters and kind of share their story and their struggles and maybe continue to, um, maybe continue to expand on this topic, who knows what's gonna happen with that. But again, this is not intended to be a rant or a pity party or uh, tearing anybody down. This is simply addressing the messages I've received and this maybe just putting, the, putting this topic out on blast, if you will. If you can take anything from this, it's uh, please just give, give everybody the benefit of the doubt. At the end of the day, that's how we grow our sport. That's how we continue to encourage more women and kids to get into our sport. And that, that, that benefits us all. So let me know what you think. Drop some uh, comments below uh, on your thoughts or any lady anglers watching this, any of your struggles, or if you agree or disagree with me, I won't be offended at all, um, <laughs> trust me. So let me know what y'all think. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned. I'll have a few more videos on rod and reel preferences uh, coming up soon. So thank y'all for watching and uh, have a good rest of the day.